Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you a few trades posted on Wednesday, 1st of March 2023. These trades were shared by Peches, who's trading Dow Jones Industrial Average in form of CFD using a Forex broker. You see here the 30 minute chart that the channel is showing clearly a wide range volatile at the beginning, at the end it was going down. And this channel of downtrend using a structural one minute chart after confirmation of formation of downtrend channel was traded using one minute trading chart and its channel. He entered multiple positions based on the algorithm one to five and entry signals. All sell short positions were taken and closed all of them with very good profit. So thank you very much, Jess, for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades were shared by HS, who's trading uh, NASDAQ CFT, again using a Forex broker. He identified in the macro and also structural chart downtrend, and you see in one minute trading chart, he identified a very good pullback here and entered two positions here and closed them uh, with exit strategy number one and two with very good profit. So thank you HS for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades were shared by Ren, or Global Instructor and Programmer, who is trading here the options of a Spider. Uh, Spider is ETF of S&P 500, highly liquid, and therefore its option is also highly liquid and suitable for scalping. So he identified an entry point here when the buyers came back and entered here with setup C6 positions and you see the close of these positions with very good profit using PATH system. So thank you very much, Ren, for sharing your trades with us. The next trade was shared by Castro, or Global Instructor, who's trading here NASDAQ CFD using a Forex broker. He identified a downtrend channel, as you see in one hour chart. Then you see here 15 minute chart, the same. And also you see in five minute chart, he identified an area that sellers came back and with very good uh, tight stop loss and very large profit and he identified the completion of pullback when the sellers came back and entered here with very tight stop loss and very good profit and you see he's getting close to the target and managing the trade actively. So thank you very much Castro for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades are those I have taken during the New York market session and the video with explanation was sent to students yesterday. So I'm gonna replay the video here for you. Hello everyone. I'd like to share with you a few trades that I have taken at the beginning and end of New York market session on Wednesday, 1st of March, 2023. And as you see, the market on a daily basis uh, was in very sideways and uh, when the market opened it went up here during the global session we're entering a very narrow range here's triangle and we don't recommend novice traders to trade this narrow volatile range uh, so the market opened here 9 30 and there was multiple news 9 15 and 10 o'clock so I only trade slightly here is this narrow range that is not really highly tradable. I had uh, some loss here and then waited for the end of market. These are the trade that I took, some gain and loss. And this is also some trade at the beginning on Russell that was positive. And at the end of market, market crashed down and recovered and retested again this level and went up so this area of the channel was traded during the last uh, 15 minute to 20 minute so this uptrend here when this trend line broke was traded and you can see the positions here anyway these gains compensated their early loss and the day was almost break even day and you can see the result on multiple accounts. Uh, just the break even level with profit factor of one and uh, percent profitable was about 60% with average win to loss ratio about 
4.8. So I hope this trace taken by the PAT system is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.